Greetings fellow preppers and survival enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into 13 must-know prepping tips when SHTF. We're living in uncertain times and it's never been more vital to be prepared. Whether you're a seasoned survivalist or just starting on your prepping journey, these tips are designed to enhance your resilience and preparedness. We're not just talking about stockpiling canned goods or hoarding toilet paper. Oh no, we're taking prepping to the next level. This is about acquiring knowledge, honing skills, and adopting strategies that could be the difference between surviving or struggling when the unexpected happens. It's about being proactive, not reactive. Our focus today is on practical, actionable tips. These are not abstract theories or hypothetical scenarios. These are hands-on, tried-and-true methods that you can start implementing right now. From waterproofing your gear with wax to establishing a manual laundry system, from preparing for a barter economy to creating a blackout box, we're covering a wide range of topics that are crucial for any serious prepper. But we're not just about survival, we're also about sustainability and self-reliance. That's why we'll also be discussing ways to integrate edible plants into your landscaping, how to use natural pest control, and the benefits of learning sewing and repair skills. And let's not forget about technology. Even in a post-disaster world, certain gadgets can be lifesavers. We'll show you the merits of portable solar chargers and discuss the importance of having a non-electric wood stove. Our goal is not to scare you, but to empower you. Knowledge is power, and the more you know, the better equipped you'll be to face whatever comes your way. So buckle up and let's dive into our first prepping tip. First up, we're talking about the importance of keeping your gear dry. In the face of inclement weather, the value of waterproof gear can't be overstated. It's the difference between a damp, miserable experience and a comfortable one. Between gear that lasts and gear that gives out when you need it most. Picture this. You're in the wilderness and a sudden downpour hits. You're prepared because you've waterproofed your gear using wax. It's a simple process, really. Just apply a thin coat of wax on your gear, whether it's your jacket, boots, or backpack. The wax forms a barrier against water, repelling it instead of letting it soak in. This isn't just about comfort, it's about survival. Waterproof gear can keep you dry and warm, preventing hypothermia. Your gear will also last longer and perform better, making every adventure a safer one. Remember, staying dry is staying alive. Next, we're delving into the world of bartering. When our trusty paper money and digital currency lose their value, what's your plan? Enter the barter system, an ancient method of exchange that could become paramount in a post-currency world. It's simple. You trade goods or services you have for those you need. Now what makes a good barter item? Well, the best ones are valuable, compact, and in high demand. Consider items like seeds. They're small, light, and can produce food. An undeniable necessity. Fire starting supplies too are invaluable. Without fire, there's no warmth, no way to cook food, no protection against predators. And don't forget about repair kits. In a world where you can't just run to the store for a replacement, being able to fix your gear is crucial. In a post-currency world, bartering could be your lifeline. So start thinking about what you can offer and what you might need in return. Now, let's tackle cleanliness. In a world where resources become scarce, a simple effective manual laundry system can be a game changer. Picture this, a five gallon bucket, a plunger, and some water. That's all you need to create your own laundry station Imagine the independence it offers, no need for electricity, no reliance on public utilities. This is about self-sufficiency, about taking control of your environment, no matter how harsh it may be. But it's not just about having clean clothes, it's about hygiene, about preventing diseases that can easily spread in survival situations. It's about maintaining a sense of normalcy, a sense of dignity, in challenging times. This system is practical, it's resourceful, and it's effective. It's about making the best of what you have and turning it into something that can keep you clean and healthy. Cleanliness is next to godliness, and this system will keep you clean and healthy. Moving on, let's prepare for power outages. Imagine this, the lights go out, your phone is dead, and you're plunged into darkness. In this moment, you'll be grateful for your blackout box. This is not just a box, it's the beacon of hope in the midst of darkness. Inside, you'll find the tools to light your way a reliable flashlight, a stockpile of batteries, and a hand crank radio to stay connected to the world. But it doesn't stop there. Your blackout box should also contain a first aid kit, because accidents don't wait for the lights to come back on. And don't forget the manual can opener and a multi-tool. These may seem trivial, but in a blackout situation, they can make all the difference. So, prepare your blackout box today and rest easy knowing you're ready for whatever comes your way. With a blackout box, you'll never be left in the dark. 
Next, we're dealing with unwanted guests of the creepy crawly kind. The great outdoors is indeed great until it invites itself inside your living space. But don't fret, you can make natural pest repellents right at home. For instance, garlic, mint, and basil are more than just key ingredients to your favorite dishes. They're also excellent at keeping pests at bay. A simple recipe involves crushing these plants to release their essential oils, then mixing them with water to create a spray. Not only is this solution effective, but it's also safe for you, your family, and the environment. Compare that to commercial products, which often contain harmful chemicals. And let's not forget about the cost savings. Why spend your hard-earned money on store-bought pest repellents when you can make your own for pennies on the dollar? With these natural solutions, pests won't stand a chance. Now, let's talk about the beauty of edible landscaping. Imagine a garden that not only pleases the eyes but also fills your plate. That's the magic of integrating edible plants into your home's landscaping. It's about turning ornamental gardens into a cornucopia of fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Consider your front yard. It doesn't have to be just a lawn. With careful planning, you could be picking fresh strawberries from vines that double as ground cover or plucking ripe tomatoes from plants that mingle with your flowers. And let's not forget about the trees. Fruit and nut trees can provide shade and beauty while also offering a bountiful harvest. But the benefits of edible landscaping go beyond food production. These plants can also attract beneficial insects, improving the health of your entire yard. In essence, edible landscaping allows you to make the most of your space, delivering both aesthetic appeal and practical benefits. Edible landscaping is both functional and beautiful. It's a win-win. Moving on, let's discuss the strategy of caching supplies. The concept is simple but effective. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. By storing your supplies in multiple locations, you increase your resilience and flexibility in a survival situation. It's like creating a safety net for yourself. When choosing locations, think about accessibility and security. You want your cache to be within reach but not obvious to the casual observer. Consider natural landmarks or structures that are easy to remember and unlikely to change. As for what to cache, prioritize essentials like food, water, medical supplies, and tools. But don't forget about comfort items. In a crisis situation, a bar of chocolate or a good book can do wonders for morale. And remember, always document your cache locations. A map, a GPS coordinate, a written description, anything that will help you or a trusted ally locate your supplies when needed. Caching supplies ensures you'll always have what you need no matter where you are. Next, we're tackling hygiene without running water. In survival scenarios, hygiene is more than just comfort, it's a matter of health. Without proper hygiene, you become susceptible to diseases that can derail your survival plan. So, what's in a basic hygiene kit for scenarios without running water? Firstly, no rinse wipes. These are your quick and easy solution for cleaning your body when a shower isn't an option. Next, hand sanitizers. These are essential for keeping your hands germ-free, especially before meals. Toothpaste and a toothbrush are a must to maintain oral health. A sturdy comb or brush can help keep your hair tangle-free. Don't forget about feminine hygiene products. They're important for the women in your group. Lastly, include a small towel and soap. Biodegradable soap is a great option as it's environmentally friendly. Even in the toughest conditions, you can maintain your hygiene. Remember, staying clean is crucial to staying healthy. Now, let's harness the power of the sun. Picture this. You're out in the wilderness, your electronics are running low on juice, but you're miles away from the nearest power outlet. That's where portable solar chargers come into play. These compact, lightweight devices can be a game-changer when it comes to keeping your essential electronics operational. There are different types of portable solar chargers. Some are designed for small devices like smartphones and tablets, while others can charge larger items like laptops or even car batteries. They work by converting sunlight into electricity which can then be stored in a power bank or used immediately to charge your devices. The real beauty of these chargers is their simplicity. All you need to do is unfold the solar panels, position them towards the sun, and plug in your device. No power grid, no problem. With portable solar chargers, you'll always have power on hand. Moving on, we're threading the needle on sewing and repair skills. In a world where a shopping trip isn't just around the corner, knowing how to mend your clothing and gear becomes an invaluable asset. It's not just about patching up a tear in your jeans or replacing a lost button. It's about ensuring your survival attire maintains its integrity and function, keeping you warm, dry, and protected. Imagine this. You're out in the wilderness, and your backpack strap snaps. 
With basic sewing skills, you can stitch it back together in no time, ensuring you can carry your essentials without any hiccups or think about a scenario where your tent gets a tear. Knowing how to repair it on the spot can mean the difference between a safe shelter and exposure to the elements. In essence, these skills are about self-reliance and sustainability. Mastering these skills can greatly extend the life of your gear. Next, we're cooking up some survival tips. In a post-disaster world, your conventional kitchen setup may not be an option. But hey, that doesn't mean you'll be living off canned beans. Let's talk about adaptive cooking methods that use minimal resources. First up is the Dutch oven. This versatile piece of cookware can be used over an open fire or with charcoal briquettes, perfect for baking, roasting, or stewing. Then we have pit cooking, a primitive but effective method that uses the earth itself as an oven. All you need is a hole in the ground, some hot coals, and time. Lastly, let's not forget about steam pits. These are great for cooking large amounts of food using heated rocks and vegetation to create steam. These methods are not only efficient but also add a unique flavor to your meals. With these cooking methods, you'll be able to whip up a meal anywhere, anytime. Now, let's dig into underground cool storage. This ingenious solution leverages the Earth's natural insulation to keep perishables fresh for longer. Think of it as a refrigerator, minus the electricity bills. It's a foolproof way to preserve food, especially when power is unreliable or non-existent. The beauty of underground cool storage lies in its simplicity. A basic setup could be a small root cellar or an underground cache. The Earth's constant temperature creates a cool and humid environment ideal for storing fruits, vegetables, and even certain dairy products. Imagine being able to harvest your garden bounty and store it underground, knowing it will remain fresh for months. It's not just a practical solution, it's also sustainable, harnessing the power of nature instead of relying on electricity. Remember, in a post-disaster world, the ability to store food could make all the difference. Underground cool storage is a great way to keep perishables fresh. Finally, we're firing up the wood stove. In an off-grid situation, a non-electric wood stove is a game-changer. It's a beacon of warmth and a hub of activity, offering us a lifeline in the coldest of winters. With no dependency on electricity or gas, a wood stove is a self-sufficient tool that can provide us with a steady source of heat and a platform for cooking. All it asks for in return is a steady supply of wood, and while gathering firewood might be a bit of a workout, it's a small price to pay for the comfort and security the stove provides. Using a wood stove isn't just about survival, though. It's about embracing a way of life that brings us closer to the elements that connects us to our ancestors and that makes us more resilient in the face of adversity. A wood stove is a reliable source of heat and cooking power when the grid goes down. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today. From the importance of waterproofing your gear with wax, to the vital role of a barter system when conventional currency is no longer viable. We've delved into the simplicity and effectiveness of a manual laundry system and explored the life-saving potential of a well-stocked blackout box. We've also shared natural pest control solutions and how you can beautify your home while nurturing an edible landscape. We've discussed the strategic benefits of caching supplies in multiple locations and the essential components of a hygiene kit when running water is not an option. We've looked at different types of portable solar chargers and their uses in keeping your essential electronics operational when the lights go out. We've also demonstrated the importance of basic sewing and repair skills, not only for extending the life of your clothing and gear, but also as an essential survival skill. We've explored various adaptive cooking methods that utilize minimal resources and the benefits of using underground spaces for cool storage of perishables. And finally, we've discussed the importance of a non-electric wood stove for heating and cooking during extended power outages. These 13 tips are designed to enhance your resilience and preparedness for when the SHTF. But remember, the journey towards preparedness is a continuous one. It's about integrating these strategies into your daily life so that when the time comes, you're not just surviving, but thriving. We encourage each of you to take these tips, adapt them to your unique circumstances, and continue building on them. Preparedness is not a destination, but a journey. And every step you take, every skill you learn, and every piece of knowledge you gain brings you one step closer to being ready for whatever the future holds. Remember, preparation is the key to survival. Stay prepared, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.